In the following tutorial, I'm using Android 15. Make note, it must be the 64-bit version of Android. Before we proceed with installing Game Guardian and the virtual machine, we first need to deactivate the child restriction. Open your settings and tap on About Phone. Then look for OS Build or Build Number, depending on your device. Tap on it repeatedly until you see a small message that says Developer Options Unlocked or something similar. After unlocking Developer Mode, go back to Settings. Scroll down and look for Additional Settings. Inside, you should see Developer Options, tap to enter. Inside Developer Options, scroll down until you find Disable Child Process Restrictions. Tap to activate it. This will allow background processes to run freely, which is necessary for Game Guardian and virtual machines to work properly on Android 15. Now, I will use the download links from my previous video to get the virtual machine and my Game Guardian edition. You can follow the same links to download both apps safely. Now you can proceed to install my Game Guardian Edition on your device. For security reasons, you can scan the APK before installing. After you have installed Game Guardian and opened it once, just exit the APK. Next, proceed to install the virtual machine on your device. Before opening the virtual machine, make sure to scan the APK for security, just like we did with Game Guardian. Once it's safe, open the virtual machine and proceed to choose a ROM. The ROM you select will determine the Android environment inside the virtual machine, so pick one that's compatible with your device and the Game Guardian APK. In this case, I'll be using a free ROM version with 64 bit architecture. Now, we can import Game Guardian into the virtual machine. Later, you can use the same process to import any game. 
Alternatively, you can activate the Google Play Store inside the virtual machine and download the game directly. This gives you the flexibility to either work with APKs or download apps normally within the virtual machine. If you cannot install Game Guardian directly on your Android device, you can also install it via the browser directly inside the virtual machine as an alternative.